Smack them a god, my friends. Hey, I got here a donation from Mr. Bjorn Rune Nielsen. Rune Nielsen. Michael Jackson. The album, the, the biggest selling album from a solo artist. And the second biggest album sold ever. My light's kind of working now. Versus 1984. Uh, tied with the biggest selling album in their discography, yes. This sold over 10 million. Van Halen 1 sold over 10 million. You know, just those two albums alone sold more than the whole Vangina discography. No matter what Sammy Hagar says, how they sold more and stuff, no. It only took two albums. Now add the other albums that were multi-million selling albums. And, uh... Uh, more of proof why he sucks. Because liars suck. Alright, so let's start this. Number one, I love this album. I'm a late, I'm late to the party when it comes to Michael Jackson. I've always liked the uh, Jackson 5. But man, when I heard Off the Wall, it changed my life. As far as Michael Jackson. What an extremely talented guy. And uh, I miss him. And unfortunately... After he died is when I got into his solo work. But I got to say, Off the Wall to me is the greatest pop album ever made. And this is my second favorite one. This is amazing too. This one I like more. I mean, you know, I didn't need to get into Van Halen. The first time I heard Eruption in 1978, my friend played My friend's big brother played it to me in, my car, in his car. I was like, damn, what the hell is that? And have been a fanatical fan since. All right, so let's start this. Uh, Want to be starting something? Love it. Oh, the tracks ain't on here, right? Let's see if I can get it right. 1984, Jump, Panama, Top Jimmy, Drop Dead Legs, Hopper Teacher, I'll Wait, Girl Gone Bad, House of Pain. I could possibly have gotten that wrong, so I'm going to... Pull out the album. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to actually pull out the album album because these tracks aren't on here. All right, so uh, 1984. The only uh, the only song in the whole Van Halen, not Vangina, Van Halen discography I don't like. I know, what is it? A minute and seven seconds. I know it's short, but I really don't like it. Even as a little keyboard instrumental, it's the only song I don't like from Van Halen. Classic Van Halen. Uh, Wanna Be Starting Something is awesome. Kind of like something that would fit perfectly on Off the Wall. All right, then Baby's, Baby uh, Be Mine versus Jump. Let me tell you, I love Jump. I know a lot of you don't. I love that damn song. But I got to say, Baby Be Mine, I like more. So now, hey, Michael Jackson already got two. All right, uh, The Girl Is Mine. I love this song with McCartney. So catchy, so awesome. Like it way more than that other one, Say, Say, Say. Not a fan. Versus Panama. You know, believe it or not, I, I'm burnt out on Panama. I don't think Panama is a bad song. Uh, but I, I'm more burnt out on Panama than Jump. Yep, believe it or not. And I, it's a great song, and I would put it above This Girl's Mind. I will. But I just want to say that that's a song that if I never hear again, I'm fine. And I, and I don't like Jump more than it, but I'm less burnt out on Jump than that song. All right, so Van Halen got one. All right, then we got Thriller. Versus, oh man, this hurts. Top Jimmy. I love Top Jimmy, man. I mean, I love that song, but Thriller. Dun, 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 dun. I'm giving that to Michael Jackson. All right, that's the end of side one for the Michael Jackson album. 
So I'm going to pick a random album. Then we'll get into side two of Michael Jackson. Whatever starts side two. I think it's beat it. Going against Drop Dead Legs. Let's go right here. Pick a random album. Oh, ELO. Fire on High. What a song, man. Uh, Evil Woman. Knight Rider Poker. Strange Music. Strange Magic, I mean. Love it. Face the Music. Electric Light Orchestra. I dig it. All right. Now, side two. Starts with Beat It. I was right. Versus Drop Dead Legs. Both featuring Edward Van Halen. Um... I'm going to give it to Van Halen, barely, though. You know, beat it. I mean, I, I you know, back in the day when I, I couldn't get into Michael Jackson, I never, you know, I knew beat it was a good song. I just couldn't admit it to myself because I was a poser. Uh, but those days are gone. Billie Jean, love that song. Versus my favorite song off this album. I don't care if it was a hit or not. Hot for Teacher, Smokes. And wins. Now we're at a tie. All right, then we got Human Nature versus Girl Gone Bad. I mean, I'll wait. Man, that's tough. Human Nature is probably my favorite song on here. Why? Why? But I'll wait. See, for me, my personal taste. When Van, when Van Halen brought in the keyboards on, on Jump and this song, loved it. Didn't like that instrumental, but I loved those songs. I'm giving it to I Wait. I Wait. I love the way Dave sings on it. All right. Then we got uh, uh, Pretty Young Things, PYT versus Girl Gone Bad. I'm giving that to Van Halen. And I like uh, PYT. The Lady of My Life, Awesome Song versus House of Pain. House of Pain. And I gotta say, and that's the end of it. Uh, Thriller got three, and 84 got one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a little bias involved. You know, since Van Halen is in like my top five favorite bands of all time, in case you guys didn't see it, I recently did my top 10 favorite bands thanks to a donation I got. And, uh,. I'm biased because Van Halen is just untouchable, you know, even against the king of pop in my world. But I love Thriller, man, but Off the Wall is off the chain, yo. So, uh, and I was going to say House of Pain. I mean, I'm not good at production and stuff, but one thing I do notice about House of Pain is how Dave's voice is very low in the mix. And it's kind of bothersome to me. You know, I wish it was a little higher. Um, but, Bjorn, thank you, buddy. Thank you for the donation. I enjoyed doing this. I actually did put this on before I did this. Because uh, I love me some MJ, man. And uh, there's no room for debate. In my opinion, he was innocent. If you all think he's guilty, that's your problem. Um, but... I, I looked into it, and there's just no no doubt about it. I'll say, I said it before, and I said it again. If Michael J Jackson diddled kids, it wasn't the kids that sued him. No way. Whole sway. So, if you'd like to donate, i got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gobba.